Hello, hello, hello. Today, I am going to be playing around with a making a stained glass window in my art journal. <laughs> it's just some crazy idea I had last night. So, you know, here we are. I'm giving it a go. Okay, so I have my little journal I've been making in working in all week. I have some um, just some watercolors because I want to do a little background for the stained glass window to shine. You know, you got to have something on the background. So I'm just going to do a little background today and I'm going to start off with that. But I also have this, um, it's just a sheet of plastic that's left over from some packaging, you know, from some product or something or other that I bought. I always should save these things because you know, you just never know, right? <laughs> I also have some alcohol markers. Now I was playing around quite a bit with, you know, how this was going to work out. And I really found that these were the best options as opposed to alcohol inks that come out of the little bottles. That was just kind of messy because I'm going to be using washi tape and the alcohol inks, the ones in the bottles, just kind of wanted to seep underneath this, but the pens worked really well. So I'm going to be using some washi tape and I just have some other decorative stuff that just kind of fell out of my drawer. <laughs> you know, you never know. <laughs> and I have some two-sided tape. Okay, so all of this, we will get to all of that, but I wanted to start off with painting this page right here. Or maybe I'll paint both of them. Because on this page, I'm going to take my plastic sheet and I'm going to sandwich it in there and make a little stained glass window. But I want something on the background besides just a blank page. And I may work on this, you know, in the future, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so I just have some, some paints here. They're just watercolors. These are like a metallic and I've already put some water in them and let them, let the water kind of soak in for, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes. These metallic paints seem to need a lot more water than regular paints. Okay, so that's that's good enough. All right, let's put all of this away. Okay, so I don't need this gigantic sheet. I'm gonna put bring this back in here for a minute. <laughs> I am going to want, let's see, this is about the right size. So I'm gonna want to, to cut this down about half. Okay, so I have my sheet of plastic cut down to the size that's going to work. Now I'm going to take this really super thin washi tape. So these are just going to create all of the little openings. pull back in this sheet of plastic that I set aside that I cut out that I'm not going to use and I'm going to use it as kind of a tester sheet. So one of the things that I noticed when I was playing around with this idea was not all of these markers made a nice clean color. It didn't color in cleanly. It left like um, pen marks. So I wanted to, and, and you know, I could have, of course, done this ahead of time, you know, not showing you this part, but I thought this was important. So when I put this down, I want to make sure it's going to make a nice solid color and not leave a bunch of pen streaks. So this color works really well. I like that one. 
This one, this one's a little streaky. So you can see that that is a little streaky and this one's much more solid colored. So I'm not going to want to use this one and it doesn't really help to keep putting it on there. It just, I, I've tried this and it just keeps getting worse and worse and, and worse. Um, now, of course, if you want that kind of look, then, you know, that's what you're going to be using. So I'm just going to take this. I'm going to make sure that all of my washi tape is down really good. I don't want the, my ink to be seeping underneath it. And then I'm just going to start coloring in these spaces. And the trick here is to make it so none of the colors are touching. So if I have a pink here, I don't want to put pink here and here and here, but I can put it over here because it's not a adjacent to it. It's not touching. already tell this is going to come out streaky. Oh well, my whole plan is I'm just like, okay, that's not working out. You see, this is a great thing about art journals. You can just experiment with it. There's nothing, I, there's nothing wrong here. I'm not doing anything that's, that, oh, wait a minute. That looks like the same as the pink, but it's not. This is supposed to be purple. What's a, what's going on? That's not right. See? Purple. <laughs> now it's just going to be a mess. I have an idea though. Oh, see? That blue is seeping underneath there. These alcohol inks, they need to have a way of getting away from you. really want to stick with the lighter colors. The darker ones do tend to streak more. But it's all streaky anyway at this point. So I got all of that in even though it's all streaky. So my idea, my experiment was, okay, so I've got my my other sheet over here, right? get some big areas of these ones that are streaky. Okay, so what happens if I spray it with alcohol? Well, then it really doesn't come out like stained glass at all. It does take care of the streaks. <laughs> I'll give it that. <laughs> so I also have some alcohol in one of these water brushes. Let's see what happens if I do this. Is it just going to get worse? I think it's just going to get worse. Yep. Okay. Although this creates a, a, a really fun little look and you know, that might be fine. Another idea that I had was what if I purposefully made other marks in here? You know, like I could draw in patterns. You know, that'll take take out that. Um, and what if I drew in patterns with the same color? And what if I drew in with a different color? So that really kind of gives it a different, different look altogether. And if I don't like what I did, maybe I can wipe it all out with my alcohol brush. See, 
see that at that actually I like I was gonna wipe it away I still think it's gonna probably seep underneath that washi tape a little bit too much especially if I get too much alcohol down like I am doing now but maybe I just have to let it do what it's gonna do back to this this is this is still a little bit wet I want to dry it okay, so now I'm going to cut a window in this and I'm cutting through two sheets the reason I wanted to, this to be dry is because if it's a little bit wet and my blade isn't as sharp as it probably could be which it probably isn't then it's going to end up tearing the paper rather than cutting it. Okay, so now I want to put the stained glass in, sandwich that in there. And for this, I thought the easiest way to do this is with some two-sided tape. moment of truth is it going to look good is it going to work out I'm afraid that that stuff's not going to stick that well Ooh, look at that oh how fancy <laughs> I got a little window now this could be like a cover for your journal I like that so I want to do one more thing see this inside is fine but now I've got this white border and I had this ribbon that just kind of fell out of the drawer on me. I was thinking about using that on there. But I also have this thicker washi tape that I think matches really well with that. I think I'm going to go with this. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's better. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay, that's it for me today. Thanks for joining me.